Hi, this is the Book Creator by Toolbox for Writers. This program is designed to help you create an outline for books, for documents, papers, dissertations, whatever you want. So let me show you how it works. First, you enter a title here for your book or your document. I'll put in my newest document. It doesn't have to, you can actually space these letters out, these words. And when you push create, this seems to go blank, but you'll find your document at the bottom of the drop down. So what you do is go ahead and highlight the title of your document. And what happens is you get an add chapter dialog that shows up. So you put your chapter title in. So I'll call that chapter one. And then you can put text in here. We'll go and paste that text in here. So this essentially is a description. It should be kind of brief, but enough to let you know what you want to write. This is going into a database. And this chapter one will go here into this tree view. So once you get your chapter title and the chapter description done, you click add chapter. You'll get a little confirmation that the chapter was saved and you'll see a plus box here. If you click it, you'll see chapter one. And then if you select chapter one here in your tree view, it will come back with an, an update chapter dialog. So then you could go ahead and change your chapter title or your description. But what's important here is that you see this new box called add scene. Now a scene could be a scene in your novel, a section in your chapter or your paper. It doesn't really matter because you're creating the outline. So here you might put scene one and then go ahead and paste in some more lorem ipsum and add that scene and you'll see a box here you click it you'll see the scene underneath that first chapter here you'll see scene one along with the scene description and if you select it you'll get an update scene dialog if you go back to your chapter you can add another scene so i'll add scene two and again i'll just type in some lorem ipsum I'll take away this second paragraph and just have one paragraph. And so I have scene two added and I go ahead and click it and I have a confirmation that it's been saved. And here you'll see chapter one, scene one, scene two. Now if I go back and click my document again, I can add another chapter. So I'm going to call this chapter two, type in the text, add it. You'll see it here. You'll see a confirmation. And then I'm going to grab my chapter two. You see where you can update it and edit it. And then I'm going to add scene one, chapter two. And if I want to add a description, I can. And then I'll go back and add another scene. Scene two, chapter two. Add some more text and add that. And I can add another scene, scene three, chapter two. Just, that's just to distinguish these from the scenes in the first chapter. We'll paste that text and add it. And I go back and grab the main document title and I'll add a chapter three. Add some text to that and then add that chapter. Grab that chapter, add scene one, chapter three, add some text and I'll grab chapter three and do scene two, chapter three. And then add some more text and then add that and so forth. So you can see how we're creating chapter scenes and as I said, you don't have to call this a scene. You can call it a section or anything you want. At this point, I may feel that scene two, chapter three belongs in chapter one. So all I have to do is go ahead and hold down the left mouse button, select it, and then just drag it up here and bring it over the scene that I want it to fall under. And there it is. So what I have is by doing the same thing here, 
I have drag and drop potential. Or what if I want chapter two to be where chapter three is and vice versa? All I have to do is just grab chapter two and bring it down. And here all of the scenes that go with chapter two are now chapter three. If I want, I can just go ahead and change the title. It doesn't have to be called chapter two. So you can drag and drop whole chapters and take all their scenes with them, or you can drag and drop scenes between different chapters or within a chapter. Those are the important features of working the main interface. Let's look at some of our menu items. Here you have a word processor. It's a full word processor rivaling Microsoft Word. Here's where you close the program. You can get help online here. This leads to our channel. And this is the print book function. This is really cool. What you do is now you've created this outline along with details, but it wouldn't be any good if it just stayed in the computer. So we have a print document dialog and you can reach it by hitting print book and you can reach it by hitting this printer icon. Print the last document that we created and I can do it in Word in all of these versions or in RTF. And you don't have to have Word installed. You do need a Word viewer. Anyway, you can generate it by clicking this button and it says, do you want to view the MS Word document? I click yes and Word opens. And there you have your document and you can basically create your whole book this way. So that's an introduction on using the book creator. So thanks for watching.